The Tang Dynasty Tour Chapter 2 Chang'an in a Dream Section 31 The simple is not simple. The little bell took away the food box that Yun Ye brought and took away Yun Ye's apologies for yesterday's faux pas. Bell was full of good feelings for Yun Ye, and felt that this reading man was very good, not only letting herself eat secretly without telling others but also taking the initiative to carry the black pot. Today's fish is delicious. Seeing the little palace maid leave, Yun Ye smiled very cheaply, and even a little sinister. It is a good idea to conquer a person starting from her stomach, and this applies not only to men but also to women. The culinary experience summed up by China for 5,000 years, its combat effectiveness is always so strong. Yun Ye firmly believes that the home-cooked food he makes will conquer Li Anlan's stomach. Li Chengqian followed Yun Ye's gaze, only saw a few vigorous old pines, and didn't understand why he had hysteria. Scratching his head, he ignored him, sat down in his seat, and began to eat. He always felt that today's food was much less, and he was relatively hungry, Everyone's food in the royal family was rationed, not the casual waste of big fish and meat at every meal as the legend said, the palace maids may have stolen food, but they would never dare to steal the food of my dignified prince, that would kill them. Yun Ye's plate was piled high, more than his two, needless to say, it was this guy who got my food on his plate. Some sad and angry, and some helpless, a prince stealing the food of the heir of the empire will make the people laugh to death, and it will be recorded in history for thousands of years. Li Chengqian had no choice but to knock out his teeth and swallow them in his stomach, and at the same time he decided that if Yun Ye didn't feed his stomach after the meal, he would tell and land that Yun Ye was a villain. Before eating, the Chamberlain rushed to say that Niang Niang, Prince Qian, and the Marquis of Lanchen went to the Ganlu Hall to see the Emperor. Yun Ye doesn't know what the reason is, but Ganlu Hall is the Emperor's study, where to meet, wouldn't you have to face the most terrifying two people in history could it be that it has something to do with the six-rank official Dozhong I saw this morning I am not your minister in charge of affairs in the court. I am just a little person who is a mess, if you have something to do, you look for Fang Xianling, Du Ruhuai, the famous Fang Mao Du you don't look for, then why me? Yun Ye was slandered in his heart, and he didn't dare to have a trace of slowness under his feet. Li Chengqian smiled sinfully and opened the way in front, he liked to see Yun Ye helpless in front of his father and mother. There is also a big con coiled in the Ganlu Palace, and the bamboo mat is covered with thick felt, and then there are two layers of plush blankets, and people will sink half of their buttocks when they sit down. In front of Li Er, there was a square table one meter square, on which five or six dishes were placed. It looked familiar to Yun Ye, a piece of Mao's braised pork, a piece of shredded bamboo shoot fungus, a bowl of dried vegetables with the red skin facing up on the plate, and a stewed pig's trotter with soybeans on it. It's just that where is the chicken oh no, aren't these five of the six dishes that I carefully made last night didn't I let the bell send it to Leonlin how could it be at Lee ER's table? Isn't it familiarly er dug a spoonful of soybeans in the pig's trotter soup and chewed it slowly, it seemed that he was an eater, the soybeans in the pig's trotter soup tasted the most mellow, and the essence of the pig's trotters is all in it, take a bite of the soft and rosin, and he immediately found the quasi-fateful door. 
Xiao Chen was rude to the princess unintentionally yesterday, and when he returned home, he was full of remorse, and he didn't know how to make amends, the four walls of the house were empty, and he only had a good cooking skill, so he made a few dishes and gave them to Princess Anlin, hoping to calm her anger and reduce the guilt in the minister's heart. Yes, the lie is said at a high level, worthy of being a disciple of a master in the world, you are exonerated of the crime of sending food to the palace for no reason, how do you explain this thing Li Er grabbed the silver cake from the Kong and threw it over, five tails, and the inscription made by Yunfu on it was legible. Empress Zhang soon sat next to Li Er and gave Li Er vegetables, she didn't see Yunya as if she had nothing, so she put a chopstick of bamboo shoots and fungus shredded meat on Li Er's dinner plate and said, You taste this dish, it is very strong, and it is a shame that he can find fresh bamboo shoots in winter. The food I gave to your daughter, seeing that the eunuch was pitiful and bottomless, and rewarded a few tails of silver, all of which were plundered by your husband and wife, and there is no reason, I sent food to the palace, or food, how could I have violated the royal law, is there any reason for this thinking about it in the blink of an eye, this is not the future generation, it seems that the words of His Majesty Li Er are the royal law, and there is no place to reason now. The matter of bribing the eunuch to inquire about Li Anlin has to be explained. The minister got up this morning in less than four watches, lest the princess blame, and when he met the chamberlain who led the way, he inquired a few more words about Princess Anlin's preferences and was ready to do what she liked, and he didn't want your majesty to see thousands of miles clearly, and the minister's dirty thoughts could not escape your majesty's eyes, so please forgive me. Father, Lan Chen Ho inadvertently offended Sister and Lan yesterday and felt remorseful, and yesterday in the children's palace he said that he would make amends, and he also asked the inner servant about my sister's preferences, and please spare him once for the sake of his sincerity. Li Cheng Qian is a good brother in the end, although he is a little shameless on weekdays, at a critical juncture, he is still a brother who can be relied on. The two biggest landlords of the Tang dynasty didn't look at the two brothers standing on the ground, ate very comfortably, and tasted Yun Ye's craftsmanship while eating. Li Er seemed to like pork very much, chewing a large piece of buckle meat in his mouth and nodding his head. Seeing that the atmosphere was a little relaxed, Yun Ye dared to introduce the characteristics of each dish one by one. Empress Zhang soon listened very carefully, and occasionally asked a few questions. Yun Ye and Li Cheng secretly looked at each other and smiled, it seemed that they could get over today. You and your master are like father and son, why did you turn his bones into ashes and scatter them into the river, leaving no room for future generations to worship Li Er was full of wine and food, rinsed his mouth, took a sip of tea, and asked Yun Ye. Dust to dust, where to come from, where to go, the master often said that since you came naked, you must go naked, I have grown up, the master's last concern in the world is gone, the minister obeyed his will to let him return to heaven and earth, the image remains in my heart. Yun Ye knew he would ask. So, he had the answer. This is a high-ranking behavior, walking cleanly and thoroughly, leaving no aftermath. Today, you tell me honestly, what kind of existence Bai Yujing is, will it pose a threat to my Datang, and now you are also a member of Datang, one is prosperous, and one is lost, you answer carefully. 
Li Er talked for the first time in front of Yun Ye from the position of an accomplice. Your Majesty can completely think that by Yujing and the Dragon Palace of the East China Sea, the Lingxia Treasure Hall above the Nine Heavens are the same thing, as far as Xiao Chen guessed, Bai Yujing is a spiritual realm, not a real place, someone once flew to the Nine Heavens, and no immortals were running around between the white clouds, the Tianqi of the West Queen Mother is on Kunlun Mountain, it will take a few years to get there, in addition to the ice and snow on it is a big lake. It is so cold that one can't breathe, Xiao Chen doesn't believe that there is anything that can survive in that environment all year round, there are not four seasons of flowers, and there are not even a few weeds. When I think of it, I regret I have been there. Yun Ye smiled secretly in his heart, Tianqi, I have been to three ones, the volcanic lake in the northeast, the Tianqi in the Tian Shan mountains, and the Tianqi in Tibet. To be honest, if you remove all kinds of tourist facilities, it will be a goddamn wilderness, and you don't know your feet when you climb the mountain, and it will be a big loss to run up to take a look at the Blue Lake. When you go down the mountain, you still have a hard mouth, and you give others a meal according to the beautiful scenery you imagined, and you don't want others to have a good time if you suffer a loss. One of my buddies was fooled by me, and he almost strangled me when he came back. When others asked about the harvest of this trip, his intoxicated description made me hate my lack of language. Note, hard mouth means stubbornness and reluctance to admit mistakes or defeats. The expressions of Li Er's family of three are very similar to the way I looked when I couldn't answer the questions in class, dazed, staring at a pair of ignorant eyes, and stunned. Can people fly in the sky have you ever been to the Tianqi of the Queen Mother of the West very good, Yun Ye found that he was a master of shifting the topic and suddenly shifted from where his master went to the simple question of whether people could fly, he coughed lightly and looked like a museum commentator, which made the three members of the Li family awe-inspired. Has your majesty seen the Kongming lantern? That's for blessings, of course, I've seen it, and talk about people flying into the sky. Li Er's face twitched slightly. Your Majesty, that person flew to the sky on a Kongming lantern. Nonsense, whose Kongming lantern can fly with people? Li Er jumped down from the Kong with a bang, staring at Yun Ye with vicious eyes, if there was no reasonable explanation, Yun Ye would die uglier than a pig today. Your Majesty, don't be annoyed and listen to the minister's words. You see, a two-foot square Kongming lantern can bring candles or cotton wool into the air, right? That's right, the child let go of a three-foot-sized Kongming lantern last year, and even took away the oil cup, which was enough for three tails. Li Chengqian was beside him to help. Thank you. Your Royal Highness, you are right since the three-foot Kongming lantern can carry three or two heavy objects, then the Kongming lantern is ten times larger than it can carry ten times the weight. If the firepower is increased, wouldn't it be easy for a thirty-foot round ball to carry a person weighing one hundred pounds Xiao Chen sat on this thing and used fierce fire oil to spew flames from below? blowing hot gas into the big ball. People sit in a big basket made of bamboo, drifting in the sky with the wind, the clouds are full of water vapor, people are soaked through the clouds, and the sky is so cold, that you have to wear a fur coat to stand up in the summer. The people on the earth have become the size of ants, and the city is the size of a conch table. 
Your Majesty, if you like to wait for the ministers to find a suitable cotton cloth, we will also make one. There was no chemical fiber in the Tang Dynasty, so I don't know if there is a material that is strong, sealed, and fireproof. His Majesty Li Er sat back on the Kong and crossed his legs, and his mind was stirring up, why why has no one tried such a simple thing it has been almost 400 years since such Kong Ming of the Three Kingdoms invented the Kong Ming Lantern, and no one has thought about it in this way. What a feat this is, even if it is dangerous, under the temptation of such great fame and fortune, there is not a single daring man could it be that it is really as Chen Yejin said, this is an extremely smart boy, my Datang is not without such a smart teenager, and some even surpass Yun Ye, but why can his whimsical ideas emerge endlessly there are too few simple methods like this in my Datang, if there are a hundred and ten Yun Ye in Datang, what will it become turning simple into not? Simple? Easy to say, difficult to do, what kind of exquisite heart does this need, what kind of freak is this? Lierda was hit hard, and the arrogant personality he had cultivated over the years was defeated in front of Yun Ye, he didn't have the heart to pursue Yun Ye's bribery of the Chamberlain, nor did he have the heart to pursue Yun Ye's decision to soak in his daughter, now he just wants to quietly sort out his thoughts and re-establish his lofty mentality, without which he can't be an emperor. He waved his hand to let Yun Ye and the prince retreat and lay on the Kong without saying a word. Empress Zhang soon saw all the situation just now, gently rubbed Li Er's temples, and waited for her husband to sort out his thoughts and become a high emperor again. Guanyin, what is wrong with us, are we too stupid, or is this kid too smartly er asked the queen in confusion. Second brother, you think badly, that kid has grown up in a group of weirdos since he was a child, maybe he grew up in a group of masters since he was a child, he is well informed, and the education he received since childhood is completely different from that of Cheng Qian. Even nonsense is schoolwork, so it's not surprising that there are minds beyond the ordinary. However, the concubine is not worried that he would be out of line. The queen's words lifted Li Er's spirits, and he gritted his teeth and said, Boy, if you want to marry my daughter, it's not that simple.